Hey everyone, Kevin here. Very early on when I first started doing these videos, someone asked me to do one on the topic of avoiding workplace politics. Now at the time, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to say on that topic and ended up just tabling it for a while, but after months of reflecting on it, I realized how I wanted to go about discussing that issue. Namely, the fact that every workplace will have politics and drama. You rarely ever want to get involved in office politics in the first place, but there may be times where it's just simply inescapable or even something that you can work to your advantage sometimes. And I think we've all been there too, whether you've been in corporate your whole life or are a transitioning teacher who dealt with all that water cooler conversation in the teacher's lounge or at staff meetings. Like I said, every workplace has politics and it can be hard to avoid them. But what I wanted to go over was a handful of ways you should go about doing this without landing yourself in hot water or ending up in a seriously precarious position. So let's go over a handful you should consider in this process. Number one, remember your responsibilities. It is vital to remember that your responsibility is not to get involved in the drama that is HR or personnel's job. You taking it upon yourself to try and resolve conflict or deal with office politics may just make the situation worse and end up offending people who could make your life even worse as well. The cost of repairing your reputation and building back working relationships is just not worth the risk. And that leads right to number two, don't shy away from confrontation when it happens or is needed though. I mentioned in an earlier episode that just having a face-to-face -face conversation can help resolve conflicts before they just balloon out of control. Listen to what is going on. Watch body language and learn ways to manage what is being discussed. If you need guidance on how to do this or what to say, consult your HR representative or company point of contact. They are great resources most of the time. Number three though, don't forget to set boundaries. Believe me, you want to form strong working relationships with your coworkers that lead to happy and productive teams. However, remember that there is a very fine line between a coworker and a friend or family, like I mentioned a couple of episodes ago. Be extremely careful with this boundary because things can get seriously messy if you are not careful. For instance, you might tell a coworker something about your personal life, which they may then turn around and use to stab you in the back around promotion time or just to get a little ahead. Keep your personal and professional lives as realistically separate as you possibly can. Finally, though, number four, and maybe the most obvious one because I kind of alluded to it earlier, avoid the workplace gossip, which is easy to get sucked into at times. I mean, yes, Share your opinions, but on the work, not other people. Don't discuss how Phil from accounting lost his temper during a meeting earlier, because even though that clearly needs to be addressed, you have no idea what Phil is going through that he needs help with. Maybe he and his partner are going through a divorce and he hasn't found a way to manage the intense feelings he has about it. Again, remember that it isn't your job to deal with that and talking about it or even spreading rumors behind Phil's back is only gonna get around to him later on. Just like we teachers did in the classroom, knowing that our students came in with wildly different stories and issues of their own, so do your coworkers. Keep that in mind. Now, if a situation gets so out of control or is hurting your ability to do your job, again, Remember whose responsibility this is and go consult your HR or personnel representative. If they continually fail to do anything about it, then you should consider leaving that position and finding a new job. Pretty easy to say, I know, but the alternative of getting invested in this type of drama or politics, particularly when someone got promoted because of nepotism, it will get around to other companies that you talk about others behind their back. Just don't do it. It isn't worth it in the long run, and you will only end up in a worse place for it. Overall, remain discreet and as positive as you can. 
things will work out if you stay away from all that workplace drama and politics. Now, if you need additional help navigating a political situation at work or need guidance on what you should do next, feel free to reach out. As always, I am here to help. See you next time.